Apple, the largest company in the world and a never-ending supply of memes, will produce an all-electric or fully autonomous car. Still, given that we are talking about Apple, it will be both. You would assume Apple has the expertise to carry out a task as significant as automobile manufacturing. Still, if Apple has anything, it's cash, and money can buy a lot of experience. Today's video is Apple to make its own self-driving car by 2025. Before we start the video, please like subscribe and press the bell icon. We will respond to these queries. Rest easy and pay attention. Enjoy the video as well. Do you understand? Apple car, fact or fiction? Let's go back to 2015 for a moment. At the time, Apple was going about its business when a rumor began circulating. Some locals near the Apple headquarters spotted a black van with a strange object on its roof, which sparked speculation that Apple may be developing a self-driving vehicle. This report initially gained little traction because many disregarded the van as just another vehicle used by Apple to collect street views for their map program. A few years later, it was recently discovered that Apple began developing a potential self-driving car in 2014. This means that the first rumors were more accurate than anyone. Project Titan is the name of Apple's auto development method. In 2015, there were numerous rumors regarding the potential of the Apple automobile. It began with the development of software enabling cars to operate autonomously. The rumors then became a little more credible. Additionally, they said that Apple was developing a specific form of entertainment system that would be closely connected to the iPhone and fully integrate Siri. Additionally, according to the same claim, Apple planned to sell the entertainment system to one of the major automakers, such as BMW or Ford. And then, all of a sudden, these rumors vanished, to be replaced with the claim that Apple was developing a vehicle for the fall that could drive itself with little to no assistance from the driver. These reports are from this year, and according to some sources, Apple will launch its car in 2024, possibly as early as the following year. Therefore, whether you like it or not, the Apple automobile is closer to becoming a reality than you might think. Additionally, there are allegations that since 2016, more than a thousand employees have been working on this project. That may seem like a lot, but you would be mistaken because developing an automobile is extremely difficult. Consider building a car with no prior experience while primarily operating as a software company. Given Apple's deep pockets, that number will probably increase if the story is true. The company has already hired numerous seasoned professionals from Ford. GM, and Tesla, but there is still a ton more we don't know about. So let's make a few assumptions. What might the Apple automobile look like if the Cybertruck's dismantling taught us anything? The rule is never to speculate on a potential automotive design. But here we are again. Apple is, or at least was an innovator in its own right. Just like Tesla. Remember the revolution they started when they unveiled the iPhone. These days, rather than creating something more bizarre, they are more concerned with boosting the quality of that iPhone. However, the innovative spirit is still present and will remain for some time. Therefore, I talk so much about Apple's innovative spirit because they are just as insane as those in Tesla age, so they might do what Tesla did with the Cybertruck. This indicates that making predictions about its appearance at this time may be impossible. Doing it now would be a waste of time, but if we receive a sneak view or concept art of it in the upcoming month, we might be able to take action. I can only speculate that it will probably be white, will it be successful? One of the few businesses that genuinely altered our lives, Apple can be greedy and amusing sometimes. Therefore, there is a wide range of potential excellence for the Apple car. Let's be optimistic, though. Even if the car looks horrible, Apple is more than capable of doing software magic. Undoubtedly, the entertainment system will be as enjoyable as Tesla. You can already count on selling a lot of automobiles on the day you announce if you have the branding of the enormous corporation in the world and millions of devoted customers. Another significant benefit is having your automobile wholly connected to your iPhone. But the Apple car is most intriguing when discussing its purported self-driving capability. Apple excels at various things, particularly software, but will that be sufficient to transform the transportation sector? Only time will be able to provide an answer to that much tougher query. But if there's one thing we know about self-driving, it's challenging. Tesla has likely been working on it since it began, and they are making good progress, but they are still far from fully self-driving. I'll discuss the wealthy individuals and their history with Apple to establish my point. So let's put the creation of autonomous vehicles on hold and talk about the manufacturing process, which is the central issue Apple will face when they begin production. Apple is not a car company. As you are aware, it is more of a computer and software company. The most significant thing they have ever constructed is an Apple stand that sells for $1,000. So, even if Apple creates a fully autonomous vehicle, the construction of that vehicle will still be a challenge. Apple can approach this issue in one of two ways. Both the intelligent method and the Tesla way exist. The Tesla method entails beginning from scratch with the construction of a plant, investing billions in the process, and eventually producing automobiles on their own. That's the simple part, too. Scale production of their autos would be the most challenging aspect. 
even if Apple cars are terrible, there will still be a lot of requirements. Tesla, which is more than 10 years old, cannot match the needs. Consider how difficult it will be for Apple to accomplish this, however, Apple is not Tesla. They can also choose the second alternative and form a partnership with an established and prosperous automaker. That might be a Toyota, Ford, Hyundai Hybrid, or BMW. Another revolution may be on the horizon thanks to the excellence and scalability of Toyota, for instance, as well as the creativity and enthusiasm Apple can provide with its self-driving feature. The Apple car and self-driving technology won't be open source, regardless of the situation. That has no chance of happening because you lack the legal authority to repair an iPhone, much less reverse engineer it. In contrast to Tesla, Apple will keep all of its secrets close to its chest. Yes, we are contrasting a hypothetical vehicle with a top-tier automobile. Hey, isn't it enjoyable? Is there a benefit Apple automobiles may have in that regard? Tesla does not. We've already mentioned Apple's enormous fan following. There is also the software development issue, which Apple is adept at handling. That's pretty much it. Apple will still lag behind Tesla in terms of development experience and market penetration by 12 to 15 years, even if it introduces its automobile in 2024, which may be a rumor. Tesla, for instance, already has 2.5 gigafactories. Apple doesn't. Regardless matter how you look at it, it is a significant problem if you want to build a thriving auto industry. Apple has the brainpower and financial resources to make the Apple car successful and transform transportation in the future. Although we would certainly anticipate something amusing from Apple automobiles, we wouldn't be shocked if they managed to astound us. What do you think, please? Do you believe Apple will succeed in creating a brand new iCar that will wow us, or do you believe they won't be able to? That's all for today. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.